Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, March 25th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. My cat is actually right behind me. Say hello. She's eating breakfast and is just relaxing. <laughs> and hello. And I have with me the things that help me pray. A cross and two stones from Philippi. Today we continue in the prophet Jeremiah with an incredible scene that sort of foretells the crucifixion in a way. Jeremiah is standing in the temple and he is saying what he's been saying all along, which is the people have been straying and that the temple will dis be destroyed just like Shiloh, he says. Shiloh was the place of worship in, in the Northern Kingdom, which was also destroyed. So Jeremiah is giving this prophecy and the priests become angry. And the priests and the people say, let's just put this man to death. Let's kill him. All he's doing is giving us bad news. And Jeremiah says, my life is in your hands. Do with me what you want. But know this, I am only saying what God is saying to me. If you kill me, you only stop listening to God. Now, back in the ancient times of the Hebrew scriptures, if someone was prophesying, even if the message was one that no one wanted to hear, it was considered abhorrent to kill them because they were speaking on behalf of God. It was a great crime to murder the messenger, the vessel. And although they hated Jeremiah and they didn't want to hear what he was saying, when he reminded them that he was trying to speak for God, they withdrew and did not kill him. Now, what's so interesting about this is that the Jews knew this. They knew that their tradition had always specified never to kill a prophet. Even if you hate them, even if you don't like what they're doing, and yet, next week, we will walk with Jesus as his own people betray him to die. Whereas they let Jeremiah go, they did not let Jesus go. They killed the messenger, who was in fact more than the messenger. He was the message itself. They took this great sin upon them, though. They killed the one who was speaking for God. They, we. As we draw closer to the cross, we'll be looking at how all this craziness happened. How a people who had sworn never to kill someone who pro prophesied, who taught on behalf of God, how their minds were twisted enough to want to kill the Son of God. It's a great mystery and a study of in human nature, the event of the cross. But Jeremiah came close, but got off the hook. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for the ways that the Hebrew scriptures laid the groundwork for the coming of Christ. And to understand Jesus and all that he went through, we must understand his roots, the roots of Judaism and the texts of the Hebrew scriptures. Thank you for all this richness that is coming to us slowly in these daily readings. We ask you today to watch over all who are sick, lonely, dying, in pain. We give you thanks for the new hope that has arrived amongst us 
as more people are vaccinated and begin to emerge from their homes. But help us to emerge with caution and respect for those who have not yet been vaccinated. Give us wisdom and courage not to rush but to give thanks for every new opening and opportunity. Bless this nation, Lord. Bless this world and guide us to do the work you would have us to do today with gladness and singleness of heart. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.